Welcome to one of the past HSC exam question videos. In this video, we're going to cover one of the past HSC exam questions on the condensation polymer and biomass chapter. Before I read the actual question, um, what we'll do is once I finish everything, I'm going to have a five second pause, which gives you enough time to pause the video and try to attempt the question itself. Once you've attempted the question, just press play and I'll go over the actual answer. And so in this case, I'll read out the question. Cellulose, PET, rayon, CMC, and polystyrene are all polymers. Choose one of the above or a bipolymer of your own choice and answer the following questions. A, name two uses of the polymer, and B, briefly describe its production. So in this video, I'm going to cover cellulose, the polymer cellulose, but you can choose whatever polymer you want to. Of those four, or of a named bipolymer of your choice, so of your choice, of your own choice. So those are the ones such as polylactic acid or BHT or anyone that you would cover in your course. So you can choose one of those polymers or the polymers above. But in this video, I'm going to cover cellulose. But you can cover a different one in your answer. It doesn't really matter as long as the steps are kind of the same. So pause the video now. I'm going to have a five second talking break. Pause the video. And once you've answered it, Press play and I'll go over the actual answer. I am back. So what I'll do first, I'll go tackle the first part, which is A part. So name two uses of the polymer, and that's worth two marks. So obviously the first thing we have to look at is the verb itself. The verb in this case is name. And it's very simple. So in a name kind of question, you don't have to give much detail. All you have to write is the two uses. So it also obviously it says two. So make sure to get two marks. So for one every use you name, you get one mark. So make sure you actually put down two uses. And with uses, we kind of refer to what the polymer is used for and it comes to reality itself. So I've written down the first. So cellulose has been used to make paper for centuries. Right? So that's, you would get a tick for that, which means you get one mark for that kind of um, answer, a very simple answer, but you've stated one of the uses. And then the second one is cellulose is also used to make linen, which can be used to manufacture linen cloth. And linen, linen cloth is just a different type of fabric. So cotton, nylon, they're all different types of fabric, so also linen cloth. So we use cellulose to make linen cloth. And again, that's also a tick. You, got, you have now named two uses, which means you get one mark for each, and overall you would get two marks out of two for that kind of answer, a very simple answer. Now the next point, which is the B point, says briefly describe its production. So briefly, that, that part briefly here, that just means sort of short. You don't have to give much uh, detail, just a short description. And describe its production, that describe, again, that's the verb, the important verb. And that kind of just means you need to um, show some of the steps. Show steps. Um, or describe how you go from the monomer into the polymer. So for cellulose, it, this is how it works. There's two parts to the answer. Cellulose is a naturally occurring polymer that consists of glucose monomers. So this part was important. We mentioned that it consists of glucose monomers. So we've named the monomer. And remember, cellulose is a, a polymer, which means that it's made up of many monomers. And then the glucose monomers are produced by plants via photosynthesis. So glucose, glucose itself occurs naturally, and the reason why is because plants produce it via the process of photosynthesis. And so that would be our first mark. Here we would have gotten our first mark. We described the monomer, like what the monomer is, and how we produce the monomer. We get one mark for this, one mark of two. And to get full marks, we still have to write a bit more, which is how does the polymerization happen? So the glucose monomer attached together by a condensation reaction. So that word, a condensation reaction, again, that's vitally important because that means that the polymer itself is a condensation polymer to produce the cellulose polymer. The water molecule is lost in the process. This is also, again, very important because in a condensation polymer, we lose a small mo water molecule or a small molecule, which in this case is a water molecule, so if you write it, it's a condensation polymer, then that's good. But if you add that part to it, that you also lose this water molecule in the process, 
this ideal. So for this kind of answer, the second part, you also get a mark. Now we're up to, again, two out of two. So that would have been an easy four mark. So it doesn't matter what polymer you'd have done, as long as the idea is the same. For the first part, A, you'd have named two different uses, briefly named them, you don't have to go into much detail. For the second part, you should briefly describe its production. So how is it produced? How are the, what are the monomers? How do they attach together to make a polymer? And what, have, what kind of polymerization is it? Is it a condensation polymer? Is it an addition polymer? That's what you would have given in the answer. So I hope that was useful.